Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 25th of August 2022. Uh, I woke up uh, early this morning and uh, decided to watch the local news on TV. Although I love Thailand, I don't really like Thai television. I avoid it. It's a kind of diet of incredibly overacted melodram melodramatic soap opera uh, most of the time and although there are a few good programs um, I tend not to watch uh, very often uh, but I wanted to see the news since I'd seen some headlines about Thailand last night I wanted to catch the news see if anything was happening um, but uh, and, um, and what I saw was uh, about a uh, kind of unexpected thing uh, was uh, uh, some video of a man whose house had been flooded in Pechaburin province and uh, the ability of Thai people to have fun and turn things into a joke is quite astounding well this poor man's house was absolutely waterlogged um, drenched in uh, you know flooded um, like in about uh, a couple of feet of water something like that and um, anyway so he invited the camera crew in to see and it's very muddy brown water and into his living room and uh, you know this is furniture is all kind of piled up around the outside so he's just sits down and starts swimming he's wearing a pair of shorts he starts pretending to swim in this muddy water saying look at his new swimming pool uh, it's as good as any kind of fancy hotel and stuff like that and then he takes out a fishing rod <laughs> and pretends to fish <laughs> uh, it's it's a terrible situation really awful they also actually showed his house after the flood water had gone down covered in this horrific mud uh, I know what that's like because uh, I around my garden it's like that every time it floods but I haven't had actually had water rise to the level of where it gets inside the house it's a shame though that we've lost our um, reliance on tradition here in Thailand when I first lived in Thailand they were still building houses on stilts and uh, you know it's a, we have the monsoon season we can expect flooding and with global warming we can expect more and more flooding and, and expect it to be more severe but you know um, property companies took over uh, much of the housing industry instead of like small builders or small or small families even building their own property which used to be the case especially in small villages uh, you know property developers have taken over and they've built kind of uh, I'm doing air quotes Western style houses which means ones that start on, at ground level and unfortunately uh, we've lost some of the idea of uh, raising houses off the ground uh, which could be really uh, useful in times of uh, severe flooding anyway uh, let's play the game of Sudoku shall we uh, it's a Thursday and this is our first hard level game of the week how hard is it going to be I have no idea Ooh, I heard the sound of my cat jumping around outside um, never mind uh, I shall get on with the game and I won't bother to give you the rules because I figure you should know them by now and if not just check out an easy level game I'm going to say that two blocks across here because I, I am busy today I have to have breakfast and start work very soon and so I need to get on oh I can hear oh no wonder my cat was jumping I can hear the alarm saying my breakfast should be ready but um, it's fully cooked but um, I, I thought I turned it off hold on a second while I go and switch it off Hello fellow Satokans, I'm back. Actually that wasn't the sound of my cat. I did not hear the sound of my cat jumping around. It was the sound of my iPhone falling on the floor. Uh, as in their latest advertisements that Apple are producing. Uh, I don't know if it's cracked or not, I have no idea. Because, but it didn't fall a great distance because it was on a low table. So I'll look at it later. But you know how annoying is that? Uh, Apple makes a big difference between alarms and timers. I had cancelled the alarm, I'd forgotten. Actually it was a timer that I set on my iPhone not an alarm and so even though when I said cancel the alarm a moment ago um, it actually
didn't realize that there weren't any alarms running. It was only, it didn't tell me, you haven't got any alarms running. You've got a timer running. It wasn't helpful like that. It just said alarms canceled and proceeded to uh, continue with the timer anyway. So uh, maybe a busted phone. Let's see later. Uh, let's get on with um, the Sudoku game now. Where, where I was just starting and so getting into these twos. Let's see now. Uh, okay, what else can I see? There's a six blocking across these two rows. That's going to give me a six there. Um, six down here and a six up here. So six in that square. The missing digits here. Well, one of them is a four. We see the four blocking down here. The other one's an eight in that. So let's put in the eight. Um, where are we? Uh, what's missing along here? Seven and um, no, seven and nine. Sorry, seven and nine missing in those two squares. Okay, try to bear that in mind. Uh, all right. Oh, sorry, we have the two blocking up here and up here now, so that must be a two there. Only one digit missing down here, which is um, a five, I think. The five blocking across here and the five blocking down here. That gives me a five in that square. The two blocking down here puts a two in one of those two squares. Blocking up here, two blocking up here, and two across here. So that must be a two. Uh, five blocking, excuse me, five blocking down here and five blocking up here and five across there puts a five into that square there. Uh, we just got one more to go, I think. Fives across here and then up and up here. I think that's the final five. Yes, it was. Okay, we have four blocking down here and four, oops, four across here, across here, down here. Let me try again. Four must fit there. We have fours, in fact, blocking across here and then another one up there. So that's another four we can place. We have four, we're going to finish the fours here as well. Fours up, four down, then puts a four there. Four across here, across here, down and up. I'm not doing exercises. Four goes there. Four joins five as being a completed digit. Eight blocks this square and eight blocks this square. So eight has to fit there. The missing numbers are seven and nine here as they must be for this seven and nine here. And that must also give us a seven and nine up there. Um, okay. Now actually, because we've got 7 blocking up here and 7 across here, that puts 7 into one of these two squares, so that cannot be 7, that must be 9, that must be 7, that must be 9, and this must be 7. Sounds like it must be heaven. Um, now, of course, because of our seven, uh, as we know, in these two squares, this can't be seven. Seven blocks across here, so seven is, in fact, in that square there. Uh, missing numbers for this row are one, three, and nine. 
Uh, I can't quite get them just yet. This might be an opportune moment to uh, click on some digits sequentially. Jumping over the four and five, which I've actually done. Okay, we have eights blocking across here and down here, so that's an eight we can place, eight up here, eight down here, eight across here, that's an eight there, eight across this row, uh, across this row and up this column, put some eight there, and eight blocking up this column and the first column, and eight across the second and third rows, put some eight into that, that square, which is the final eight, so four, five, and eight are done. Uh, I'm going to go on to a sequ sequential click again. One's across here like this, that puts a one into that square. Okay, this two blocks this square, this two blocks this square, so in this end column here, two must appear in this position, two across this row and blocking down here, two fits there. Three blocks this square, so the three is here, nine is the last number we need here, nine must go in this square now, and one finishes the block. One, excuse me, one blocking up here, we have a one across and another one across, and like I'm doing a crossword. One fits there. Uh, I think six and seven are missing in these two squares, but can't get them just yet. So hold the bus. Right, missing here are one and nine. So what else can we get? One and nine. So. Oh, that was, oh yeah, okay, so seven blocks across here, so seven is in one of these squares. This can't be seven. We have seven blocking up here and seven blocking across here, so that must be a seven. Not much more to go now, is there? One blocking this square and one blocking this square. So the top row, that's the location for one. The missing digit here is a three. Um, three blocking across here and up here. This is not really a hard level game, is it? I think it's even a, it's been even easier than the medium levels that we've had in the last couple of days, which have not been particularly taxing. That's a six fit there. I'm using the past tense because I think it's all over. Six got six goes there now. 
uh, this one blocks this square, this one blocks this square, so here is the 1 and that is the 9. Now I'm blocking across there and up here gives us a 9 in this square. The last remaining digit to place in row 3 is a 2. Then the 2 blocks down here, another one up there, 2 goes there, 2 is finished. Missing numbers here are one. Okay, so we got the one blocking there immediately, and the other missing number is a three. Uh, one missing digit for this column, which looks to be a nine. And nine across here, across here, and up here. So nine fits in that square there. One digit missing for this column. Um, before I can, I'm almost ready to get my breakfast now. Thankfully, it's just a short couple of digits away. One digit missing from this row looks to be a six. Are you a six? Come on, tell me. Yes, you are a six. And then the last number here is a seven. So this can't be a seven. Seven fits here, and I think it's a six going to finish the grid. Yeah, okay, so that's a, a not very hard, hard level Guardian Sudoku puzzle for Thursday. Hopefully I'll be back later, but it's going to be quite late, I think, I suspect. Anyway, uh, for some more Sudoku, bye-bye.